I've gotten a couple of questions asking what my actual name is since it's probably not the vegan and so I just wanted to say that my name is Michelle it's nice to meet you um, I will still be calling my channel be vegan because that's what it's all about um, but now you know my name if you want to address me directly in this video I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of people might find controversial or may not even like um, but I just want to raise the question do you think sunlight is good for you? Growing up, the pillars of health that I always heard about over and over were eating your fruits and vegetables, getting enough sleep, getting exercise, and being in the sunlight. And I have to say that as I've grown up and over the course of the last 35 years, a lot of things have changed um, as far as what we're being told by them. And sunlight is something that I think has become, rather than something from say the 1920s when sunlight and light therapy was used to heal diseases such as tuberculosis to, some, to now uh, people are afraid of sun and afraid of direct sunlight and I just wanted to talk about that and see what you guys thought about it so just putting it out there what do you think about what we are told as a society today about sun damage and sun uh, protection um, there's a lot of things up there for high debate. So I'm just going to give you a couple of facts about sunlight and you can decide what you feel is the best for you. It used to be that sun exposure was considered one of the most important things in your life. And once antibiotics came on the market, sunlight as a healing tool was eliminated and it was replaced with fear of the sun and fear of sun damage and fear of sun exposure. And the sun just kind of became something that we are all conditioned to avoid. So my question to you is why was there this shift? Who propagated this shift and do the people who make sunscreens and antibiotics have some sort of hand in what the general public um, and the general consensus is today about the sun. It's very interesting that the five main ingredients used in sunscreen are also linked to causing cancer. Now if you hadn't thought about this before I, I challenge you to go look at the back of a sunscreen bottle and see all of the chemicals that are in sunscreens and when you bake something under the sun, your pores open and you're just going to seep it into your body and that's no good. So I suggest that sun intensifies whatever condition your body is already in. If it's toxic from the inside, all of, th all of those toxins baked under the sun are going to cause some problems. If you're using toxicity and slathering it on top of your skin and then going out and baking, some problems are going to come up from that as well. So what causes skin cancer? Um, diet and lifestyle play a huge part in skin cancer and it's interesting to note that people in third world countries that are outside for the majority of the day uh, with basically a bare bones, very minimal plant-based diet, um, they're not getting skin cancer. So what's going on? Things that attribute to skin cancer would be diet, um, eating way too much processed sugar, processed foods, smoking, drinking, use of prescription drugs, these things clog your kidney, they clog your liver, and all the systems that are used to filter out waste are overloaded. When the liver and kidneys are clogged, the blood has to push toxins up to the skin where um, it's trying to just basically your body's trying to get the toxins out but then if you go into the sun they're basically baked into your skin and that can cause skin cancer such as melanoma. So basically the sun will intensify whatever condition you are already in. If you are unhealthy you have a very high chance of getting some kind of skin cancer um, or wherever your most toxic buildup is you have the um, high probability of getting some sort of disease there. There. and if you are very healthy and clean and detoxed then the Sun can only bring uh, more health benefits and vitamin D to you so now let's talk about vitamin D vitamin D is something that essentially we all desperately need um, for different functions in our body and vitamin D the purest form comes from the Sun you can take tablets but it's not the same as getting it from the Sun soaking through your skin. Vitamin D is not found in breast milk, which is really interesting to me because it means that we are meant to be outside. We are meant to have this vital vital vitamin uh, to thrive and we can only get it by being in direct sunlight. Vitamin D protects the body from disease, protects the body from multiple sclerosis, tuberculosis, irritable bowel syndrome, type 1 diabetes, and so much more. Uh, vitamin D is essential. One of the leading causes of vitamin D deficiency is being inside all day. So think about how we live in modern day society. We are mostly inside, indoors all day, on a computer, facing artificial light. If we do get light, we're normally behind a huge glass uh, 
plane of window that blocks out the good uh, <laughs> rays from the sun that you need to produce vitamin D. Vitamin D helps remineralize bones, teeth. Vitamin D oxygenates the skin and it lowers blood pressure. It improves your eyesight. It helps you heal faster. It helps you cleanse and sterilize. Vitamin D is a principal hormone that helps control the immune system, cardiovascular functions, circulation, brain, liver, metabolism. We need this vitamin D. The purest form of vitamin D needs to be you outside directly. We are literally designed to be in the sun. When you don't get enough sun, there are tons of problems that can follow, whether they be physical, mental, emotional, and it's, I mean, we all know this. The places where there's the highest rates of suicide are normally places where the sun does not touch, um, the sun is not out, say like in very far northern areas like Norway or Alaska, those are the highest suicide rates because people really, we, we need the sun, we need it to feel happy. Conversely, when you have enough sun and you're getting enough direct sunlight and you're playing outside and you're eating healthy food, here's what you can expect to see. You can have more energy, feel happier, stronger bones and teeth, increases the iron in the blood, it reduces breast and ovarian cancer, strengthens the immune system, helps poor digestion, helps constipation. Sunshine is literally the best form of medicine and it's completely free. And it's also interesting to note that US cancer rates are actually higher in the states that get the least amount of sun. So am I saying that there's a direct correlation between cancer and lack of sun? It's very possible and I understand that that may be controversial and that I may get some comments that um, people are angry about this, but this is something that I just want to bring to your awareness. At least there's a conversation about it. Maybe we can think about it. Maybe we can realize that sunshine, sunlight, direct sunlight on our skin is really something that we need on a daily basis. And I'm not saying like you need to go outside and bake yourself for all day long in like the heat of the day. What I recommend and what so many natural um, health practitioners recommend is 30 minutes a day. That's all you got to do. Um, don't go out in the heat, heat, heat of the day. Go out in the morning when the sun is not so strong and go out in the late afternoon um, when it's also not so strong. And if you don't want to get sun on your face, just wear like a big protective hat. You can do that. Um, and But I still recommend getting a little bit of sun on your face because it's essential. So what's my conclusion? Basically, it's all the same. Uh, to heal any ailment, to feel better, to improve your quality of life, you need a few things and that is fresh, raw fruits and vegetables, minimally processed food. You need enough sleep, eight to 10 hours a night if you can. You need sunshine because it's so important and you need exercise, you need to sweat it out. All those things are gonna raise your everything from emotionally, mentally, spiritually. You're just gonna feel whole, the best version of yourself. And that's what we want, right? Because when we are strong and healthy, we're able to go out and do things um, and, and make goals happen and help other people and do things that matter in this world. Go out and live your life.